everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Coach Timmy. Today I'm going to be giving you an explanation as to why I studied engineering at university. So for those of you who don't know, I am a structural and geotechnical engineer outside of what I do here on YouTube and on Twitch and my coaching in general. And today I'm just going to explain to you why I decided to do engineering in general and have a little talk around choosing a course at university for those of you who might be a little bit confused about where to go to from here. I've seen a lot of my audience is starting to move on to that age group, you know, so those 16, 17 year olds who are playing the game at that stage and now moving into university and struggling to find a course. So one of the first things that you should know about me is that I am a logical thinker. So I didn't go into university out of love for physics or mathematics and it's also why I haven't gone full time with coaching and content. I mainly went into engineering for a couple of very basic reasons. First of those was pay. Now the pay is pretty good once you've had a few good years of experience. The graduate roles aren't that well paid to be honest and summer work is pretty decent but it's not exactly amazing as well. But the one thing about engineering is that it scales. So as you start to get more experience so at the moment I've got 18 months experience I'm still pretty much a graduate engineer you probably call me a junior engineer at this point so I'm still on the lower end of the scale in terms of what I'm getting paid but once you've got two three four five years of experience that pay starts to shoot up very quickly and you start to earn pretty good money pretty quickly. Experience is everything in engineering so it's about getting in and getting as much time under your belt as possible. Now the big reason why I chose engineering is quite simply for the job opportunities. Like I said, I'm a very logical thinker. I went into a field where I was certain I was going to come out of university and go straight into a job with. Not only were there lots of jobs for engineering in the field, but there's this crazy statistic that we're constantly told at university as engineers and that 75% of us are not going to be working in the engineering field by the time we've left university. Now I'm guessing a lot of that is based on the fact that people actually didn't enjoy the course or weren't enjoying the work that they were doing over summer and that's understandable. But the really cool thing about doing the degree is that it proves to outside sectors, not just in engineering, that you're able to understand and comprehend complex concepts and also problem solve at a high level. Engineering is essentially just paid problem solving. A good example of this is actually one of our family friends who trained as a civil engineer in South Africa, but he's been working as a financial advisor for his entire life. He hasn't touched civil engineering once. So those two reasons, the pay and the job opportunity, are straight away to me the two reasons why I went straight into engineering. Obviously I've got a pretty decent understanding of maths and physics generally, so it was always one of the things that was on the radar for me. Now a lot of you may be thinking, I don't want to go into something logically, I want to follow my heart, I want to explore something that really intrigues me. The reason I thought about my stuff logically is because I asked around about how expensive the whole university experience is before I actually went to university. Not considering the fact that my parents were helping subsidize my living costs for the entire four years, the papers and student loan eventually finished at $70,000 for me for four years of study. I wasn't about to go $70,000 in debt for something that wasn't going to get me a good job at the end of the line. Now I'm not trying to convince you to do engineering even though we need more of them. What I'm trying to say is that I think you should be picking a degree logically. Think about it long term. Think about where you might want to be in the coming years even though you might just be a 16, 17, 18 year old trying to work out your place in the world. It's all very overwhelming. Everyone asks you to make these big decisions really early on and unfortunately you've just got to grow up here and do that. It took me a long time to decide engineering. I didn't really decide that I was doing engineering until the day that I had to apply for it and the more I thought about it the more it made sense. If it were me picking for you I would make sure that you weren't doing some generic degree in something that's going to get you nowhere after putting yourself $50,000, $70,000, $80,000 in debt. Like I said it might be way in the future for you guys but this system forces you to choose your path really early so don't sit around and not make a decision. Start thinking about it early about where you want to go in the future. Another thing that I would always suggest, this is something that I wish I did back in high school, is to actually go to these places that you are considering doing as a, as a job. So I wish I actually went to an engineer's place and learned what an engineer did, what the day-to-day -day of an engineer looked like. Unfortunately, I didn't have the balls to do that and I didn't really feel like it would be worthwhile my time. Now that I'm in this stage, I would really, really suggest if you're stuck between choosing engineering or something else, I'm not too sure what else you might want to get into, go to a couple of these jobs. Say, can I sit with you for an hour? Hour, two hours today and work out what exactly you do so I know what I want to do in the future. I am sure 99% of places will be more than happy to open up their doors to someone, provided it's not in lockdown, who is showing that sort of initiative. That's the sort of thing that gets you marked down as a potential employee later on in the day. Biggest takeaway from this is to not sit and let it stew. Start thinking about it early, what you want to get into, and if you really want to follow your dreams, go for it. But I'm the kind of guy who sits on the fence and says things logically about things. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.